There's a lot more to iOS 11 than Apple initially let on. Here are seven important new features we found while testing the early preview. Apple is doing its part to eliminate distracted driving. Your iPhone can now detect when you're in a moving vehicle and can, if you want it to, automatically enable Do Not Disturb while driving. Just go to Settings, Do Not Disturb, and under Do Not Disturb While Driving, tap Activate and select between Automatically, when connected to car Bluetooth, or Manually. The Apple Watch is no longer the only Apple device with an emergency SOS mode. Your iPhone can now call local authorities and contacts of your choosing if you simply press the power button five times. Depending on your preferences, which you can change in Settings, Emergency SOS, your phone will either prompt you to complete the call or will do it automatically. A new sharing option has been added to iOS 11 as well. It's called Markup as PDF, and it lets you do just what it says. When viewing a web page, a photo, or another file, tap the share icon and select Markup as PDF. iOS will convert it to a PDF, and then you can use the iOS Markup tool to draw, sign, or add text to the document before saving it and sharing it. A new accessibility feature does away with the need to talk to Siri at all. Instead, you can use the keyboard to type to Apple's digital assistant. Open Settings, General, Accessibility, Siri, and toggle Type to Siri to the on position. Now, whenever you hold the home button to activate Siri, a keyboard will appear. If your power button breaks, you can now turn the phone off with the new shutdown option under Settings and then General. To power the phone back on, simply connect your phone to a power source. The iPad's new app dock has a section that displays recently used apps, but if you're not a fan of the constant suggestions, you can disable it. Open Settings, then General, and then under Multitasking, turn Show Recents to the off position. And finally, Apple has added a one-handed keyboard option to the iPhone. To activate it, either go to Settings, then General, Keyboards, and then One-Handed Keyboard, or long press on the emoji or globe icon on the keyboard. You can select right or left-handed keyboards and switch it back to the full keyboard. For more iOS 11 tips and tricks and other how-tos, be sure to check out cnat.com forward slash how-to.